What's up guys, it is Riley Reviews, back again with another review here. We are going to be taking a close look at the Riddler from the Batman, also known as the Conundrum Man from Six Feet Light Studios, which is also known as Mars Toys. This is definitely an exciting figure to review for myself because I'm a huge Batman fan and I just love this movie and I wanted a Riddler. We did not have one from a licensed company yet, but we're going to find out if that's even necessary given that we have this third party company here. This is an unlicensed product if you guys didn't know and I bought this with my own money to have in the collection. And can we firstly talk about how badass this box art is? I mean, for a third party company, I was genuinely surprised with how good it turned out. Also, so sorry for my voice, guys. At the moment, I am under the weather, so if you want to mute this video just check out how it looks i'm totally fine with it make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy the content and let's check out how it turned out okay first off everyone look how great this insert is for the foam i mean come on for a third party that was pretty surprising for me hot toys doesn't really include this much only with their dx line so it's nice that they include that foam insert the scope looks pretty good, pretty solid so far. The it has minimal weathering. We're going to talk about some more things, but overall, not too bad for first impressions. And let's not waste any time and hit the accessory section. Okay, guys, so there's a lot to look at here, but first we're going to talk about these Ziploc tie thingies things from the movie which is what i do remember he did use those to tie up the duct tape but i'm not gonna waste any time there i don't really care much about that the duct tape is what i mainly care about this is pretty cool it's like a little wired thing kind of a nice little play you could do on posing and you also have the regular duct tape here finely detailed something i really do like is this accessory i think this is awesome i love that they include this the detail looks incredible like hot toys quality well done, Six Feet Land Studio. This was really awesome. I, I really do like how this turned out. It's just a unique accessory. And obviously, you need your glasses with your Riddler. Here we have them. There's also some, like, pitting and dings inside the actual glass, which is kind of cool. I didn't really expect that. But, yeah, pretty nice accessory there. Obviously, you need that. You also have these, which is a bloody one and a clean one. I mean... This is a lot of stuff you're getting. I paid $145 for this. I mean, this is really nice. All these accessories are stuff that you even see with art and even some hot toy accessories. Overall, really cool. And I'm excited to pose these things up seeing this stuff. And obviously we have the hands here, which also look very good, very nicely detailed. Overall satisfied with how it looks. You can also notice that the palm, like you can see his hand, which is pretty cool. Like I'm sure that's accurate from the film. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but um, yeah, it looks really awesome. And we got to talk about these cards, guys. This is such an awesome accessories. I love these. It even has like the specific text from the film, which is just so cool for the third party company to include. I'm so happy with these and just, yeah, it was pretty awesome. Something that isn't as awesome, which I really honestly was disappointed with, was the base. I think it looks really cool. The problem is that it's kind of like poorly taped on. It's, it's just like a sticker and it's... It just seems really, like, honestly low quality. I love the print of it, like, the logo. I think that's really awesome. Obviously, that's his logo from the film. But it just seems like it's, there's, like, air bubbles in it when I got it out of the box. It just seemed very rushed and honestly kind of disappointing. But let's take a close look at the Riddler. All right, guys, close look at the sculpt here. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it personally. It's not obviously an amazing, like, high detailed head sculpt. But for what I paid for, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I mean, it's really nice. I like the little, like, details on the back of the head. You can see his hair. And just the glasses itself is pretty cool. I don't like that these inaccurate ropes are here. I think this was in a concept scene that they took out. So kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, I did say it is what it is, but you can actually kind of hack it. You could futz it under the jacket. Shout out to Joao Big Breda. He let me know that you could do this. So there's a way you can just kind of fix that. Now you can have your totally accurate Riddler. And here we have him just up and down. And he looks really good. Just letting you know, I actually didn't film any articulation section, but I just feel it wasn't necessary as you can pose this pretty much in any way possible. Double bend everywhere. No restrictions at all. And I'm just really happy with it. I mean, I would have been nice to have a little bit more weathering. I might do that myself. But other than that, there's some minimal weathering on it. Nice details on the boots, jacket, sculpt itself. For $145, I just think that this is really nice. And even if Hot Toys or Inart did do this, how much better could it be? <laughs> yes, I might eat my words when it officially comes out. But I just feel like this one's like really serviceable, especially for the price you paid for. And we haven't seen it from any other company. And I wouldn't expect to see it anytime soon. Got some more poses here while I'm talking about the figure. But let's go over some pros and cons about the figure. First thing I want to say is that there is some minimal weathering on the actual jacket. I do wish there was a little bit more there. Also, the base was very poorly done, if I'm being honest. I really wish the quality was a lot better there. And the also inaccurate ropes is not a deal breaker. 
since you can hide them, but it would have been nice if that was removed. It wasn't the promotional shots, so I understand why it stayed there. But the first pro I got to talk about is the presentation. The box art is amazing. The foam insert was incredible. And the cherry on top is the accessories. There was some, so many accessories with this figure that I loved. You can have so much fun with your posing, and I just was really impressed with what Mars Toys presented accessory-wise. And also the sculpt itself. Pretty nice detail for what you paid for. The glasses are really nice. The actual jacket and everything else is tailored fine. Nothing crazy, but it's serviceable for sure. Another huge pro is the actual value of this. I mean, for being $155, I used the $10 off code from Big Bretta. If you could, I'll probably link that in the description. For $145 to get this with the accessories, I was just totally satisfied with it this is really nice and we also don't have any licensed version of this figure we do have the yan toys but i heard that that this one is the superior option and that's exactly why i purchased it but overall i'd say that if you are a batman fan this is definitely serviceable for the collection i'm happy with it the accessories was just a cherry on top i loved it the quality of the sculpt and outfit is totally great for the price listed let me know what you guys think in the comments below and we'll catch you guys in the next video